I got digital dash, can't ride with a art. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull off the lot. Got to find the diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burn up the block. Burn out, make one call, they turn out. See, see the gang, get the word out. When the shit getting hot, you the first out. Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks. Now I look at the time all day. Be high, I ride through your block and I drop off the top and I know you can see my face. You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitch is. Yo, what's the YouTube? It's your boy Fizz back with yet another video. And today I got y'all boys with another tier list on the backup and i told y'all boys i told y'all boys this season i was gonna do it i was gonna be as consistent as possible i've already went over all the categories for the badges i went over the current gen takeovers i went over the next gen takeovers all we got left is the next gen takeover perks and every badge in the game being tier listed so if you guys want that tier list of every badge i need y'all boys i don't know how crazy this video is gonna go so i'm only gonna ask on the backup channel for 25 likes 25 likes on this video and i got that for y'all so go ahead like the video subscribe if you new without further ado though let's hop straight into it Alright, so when it comes to the takeover perks, we don't have nearly as many takeover perks as there are badges in each category, as many takeovers on next gen. It's around the same amount of takeovers as it is on current gen, but a little bit more. So we're gonna be going over every single one of these takeovers, even whether it's the positive or the negatives. And some of these negatives are not as balanced, but this is the first year they've introduced these. The badges this year are very balanced. The takeovers very balanced the only thing they need to nerf a couple of them but all in all they've done a really good job balancing the takeovers and badges year after year now the next gen stuff they're trying their best to get that a little bit more balanced i feel like the takeovers this year on next gen a lot more balanced than they were last year but with the perks being the first year we're gonna have a lot of stuff that's uneven so let's show you guys so first things first we got the same tiers that we always have don't use this obvious don't use usable i can see people using it doesn't mean it's a bad badge i just can see people using it i just personally wouldn't use it top tier means it's definitely debatable like you could you could you could throw this around and not be wrong like it's definitely up there it's definitely probably meta broken just overpowered needs to be nerfed somehow so yeah it's probably only gonna be one broken it's only gonna be like one or two top tier rest probably gonna be usable or don't use i'm gonna be honest with you so yeah first one the accelerator Takeover meter, feel faster when performing well on the court, allowing you to get to takeover quicker. This is probably the most used takeover on next year. This is probably the only one you will probably ever see. I would say it's top tier, because in all game modes, it's usable. Whether you're playing 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 5v5, or micro, it doesn't really matter. It is the most usable takeover in the game. It's not broken. I don't believe it's the best one, but for sure, for sure there is no question this is the most utilized one in the game and it's for a reason you're able to get your takeover faster it's the fast way to get it now is it the fastest way to get it that is up for debate but it only takes around maybe four threes sometimes three it maybe take like three four threes uh, three threes and assists four dunks it's really up to you but all in all, it probably only takes like four activities. Whereas without it, it probably takes like six. So six or seven. So it's really up to you on that. But in my opinion, I would probably say Accelerator is top tier. I don't believe it's broken. I don't believe it's the best one. I don't believe it's overpowered. Next, Decelerator. Pretty much the exact opposite of Accelerator. Slows down how quickly your opponent achieves takeover if you are guarding them closely. Now, in my opinion, in my opinion, all these negative takeovers i've went against all of them i've had people double teaming with them i've had teammates use them my opinion these negatives are nowhere near as good as the positives so for the four negatives i'm gonna do my best to try to keep it as balanced i probably should have tier listed these by themselves just comparing them to each of themselves but since i have them all in the same tier list i'm gonna say decelerator since it slows down how fast somebody will get takeover. So say, so say for instance, it's kind of a cancel of accelerator. That's what it's supposed to do. I could see people using it. Me personally, I would never. I would never. I, that's all I'm gonna say. Extender, in my opinion, this is debatable to be the best takeover in the game. 
definitely a top tier takeover in my opinion i say it's gonna be one or two top tier it's definitely gonna be more than that but yeah extender definitely this bro you can bro if you get team takeover with extender it's almost like the whole quarter if you play 5v5 it's almost like the whole quarter it's gonna be to the end of the game if you're playing park and it's just overpowered so extender definitely is overpowered the only thing about playing using it in park is gonna take you so long to get it so a lot of people use accelerator but depending on what your teammates have you know what i'm saying it can be other things but yeah extender definitely the fact that it's you it can be used for so long yeah i could say i could see part being better accelerator being better for part extender being better for 5 5 so it really depends on what you're playing so that's why i keep had these right here side by side i don't know if either of these are the best we'll get into it next juice gives an extra boost to your attributes when takeover is activated now if there is a takeover that is broken it is this I watched a video, somebody did a video going over Juice. Now I knew it took you above plus 10, but if you have like dual takeovers, you have the ability to get like plus 13. So say for instance, you have like finishing where you get the best plus 10s and then you have like sharp take. You'll have plus 13 to your finishing like attributes, your speed, all the physicals pretty much. So your ball, ball handle, all that will be plus 13. So say if you're like a six for six and you have an 86 seven ball handle, that can go all the way to a 99. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And then yeah, sharp take that can be or that can go along with it. That can be plus 13. But that's not even the most overpowered thing about it. Say for instance, you go, you like to use the same like type of takeover. That can be plus 17. So if you like to double up where you may even go like a limitless range, limitless range, or a limitless range of spot up, I believe you can do like double up like that. And it'll still be all the way up to plus 17. Plus 17 is crazy, bro. I don't even know on next gen if you even need plus 17, but the fact that that goes past 99 is what makes that probably the broken and most overpowered takeover in the game. I'm not saying it's the best, but overpoweredness and how broken that is, bro, the fact that you can get attributes that easily to 99 and pass 99 and with how attributes are so overpowered at 99 just puts that in that tier by itself i don't think there's going to be another one that goes there i'm gonna be honest minimizer opponents to activate it takeovers don't last as long when closely guarded so pretty much pretty much this is kind of the same thing as decelerator but to cancel out extender so in my opinion i would say minimizer is better than decelerator why because it's not only canceling out extender it's gonna cancel it's gonna make accelerator pretty much useless because accelerator it doesn't really last long at all it's my it might last three possessions so three possessions is you on offense because you're gonna pop it when you're on offense you get defense and then you're gonna be back on offense that's it that's the that's it you're gonna have those opportunities so if you use d you use minimizer in theory it's gonna maybe take off one or even two whole possessions depending on how fast you obviously those possessions are now if you're playing against good people where they're playing good defense and they're making you work for everything that can be really good so you all you minimizer is top tier out of all of these negative ones this is probably the best one in my opinion but yeah it's really it's just really up to you on that one i don't even know how to say this one saboteur i guess i guess they're trying to say sabotage when a guarded player commits a turnover or a bad shot their takeover meter gets a larger penalty this one like i said with these negative ones there are some bad ones they are there are some terrible ones man and that one is definitely a don't use i just don't see the point bro i just don't see the point bro like if you're playing defense you know what i'm saying i guess i can see a lot of lockdowns using this but in my opinion i can see other ones other being used actually i'll put it in user because i could definitely see people using that because like if you make it like say for instance they're not using accelerator and they're using like an extender you can make that extender take you can make that take longer to get you can take ju you can make juice take longer to get just off one good defensive play now say for instance now but I, only good defensive people are even gonna put those negative ones on only select people gonna put those on it to begin with you're not gonna be a good you're not gonna be like not a defensive player and put these three on so i am guess i'm talking strictly to the lockdowns it's not really for the average player so yeah second chance when takeover is full but not yet activated making a mistake won't completely reset the meter so this one is pretty much if you are in take and you like going for uh say for instance you like going for team takeover dual takeover second chance is the one for you now you won't be able to get your takeover faster you won't be able to have those 
longer takeovers. You won't be able to have those added bonuses to your attributes. You're just going to be, for those couple of times where you mess up trying to get go crazy and get greedy, you're not be able to go for that stuff easier. I don't, I don't feel like I need to explain that one personally. Like, what's the point, bro? Honestly, I don't feel like I need to explain that. Sponge, when a teammate performs an, I guess, an action to increase their takeover meter, you get a small bonus to your own. Now, Sponge, if you want to understand this, if you're a role player, say, for instance, you're a person at six corner, it's just overpowered. This is pretty much, if you guys remember, um, they used to have these takeovers to boost like your teammates takeover say for instance like you had that little flashy pass takeover or not takeover flashy pass or bad that would boost you and your teammates takeover they had um, showtime that would boost your teammates takeover they have rim protector that boosts you and your teammates takeover sponge is pretty much for those for like anything it doesn't matter what the action is it can be anything if your if your teammate gets a rebound they get a block shot they make a three they dunk the ball anything you're getting a bonus to your takeover top tier bro top tier this is arguably the best takeover in the game the only one is the only people is not really the best in the game is for guards um you could argue it's the best takeover in the game for lockdowns you could argue it's the best takeover in the game for bigs you can argue it's the best takeover in the game for sharps but for sure no question in my opinion it's the best takeover in the game for spot ups if you're a spot up and you're a sharp i believe this hands down the best takeover in the game I feel like for guards, you could argue a couple. For lockdowns, you could argue a couple. For bigs, you could maybe argue something with Sponge. But in my opinion, for spotters, for sure, no contest, Sponge is the best one in the game. Stay warm. Takeover meters won't drain as quickly. So pretty much it cancels. This is literally one strictly to cancel out this. Like, when you're putting on takeovers to cancel out the negative takeovers, when the negative takeovers are already bad takeovers, in my opinion, it's just crazy, bro. It's just crazy. Suppressor, opponents will, when an active takeover receives smaller attribute bonuses when you are guarding them. So, pretty much juice. It's pretty much juice. So, only select few can use this, kind of like these. But even with that select few, Obviously, all the three of these should be a tier lower because already only a select few can use these because you have to be closely guarding them and playing good defense for this stuff to actually work. So, yeah. But Suppressor, um, I would say, since it is when closely guarding them, smaller attribute bo boost. I say it's right here. Only reason these three are higher than this one is because all you have to do is just closely guard them. This one, you actually have to make them do a turnover or make them do a bad shot. You actually actually have to play defense for that play. Cause your the player that you're guarding to do a bad play. These don't really take good defense. You just have to guard them. So it doesn't take as much skill as this one. And whereas almost all of these don't really take as much skill. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just that simple. Like, this one activates it faster. It makes it longer. It's pretty much off anything your teammates do. This just gives you a bigger boost to your attributes. Um, this is cancel out something. This is cancel out something. Uh, most of the ones that, more of the story, most of the ones that's gonna cancel out something, really, I would put on other ones. And it's just really that simple. And if it's a negative one, it takes a lot more skill. So it's just really that simple. But yeah, that is pretty much the tier list. I tried my best to make this tier list as balanced as possible. I probably was being nicer on some of these takeover perks than I should have. But at the end of the day, it, it is what it is. This is what I say the tier should be. Juice and broken. These four in top tier. These three unusable. And these two and don't use. By all means, do not use. But yeah, that is going to be the tier list. If you guys want more of these, I need y'all boys right now to smash break and destroy the like button. I said I was going to do the badges. I put this at the end of the video for a reason. If you guys want me to do the build tier list, I can do specific builds for certain things. Rare builds, the rarest builds, the best builds, big man builds, guard builds, anything. If you guys want me to do that, let me know. Put that in the comments down below, tier list, all that type of stuff. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, make sure to share this video. Turn on notifications, all that good stuff. But yeah, man, without further ado, it's your boy Fist, man. And I'll do it, man. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah!